Now I'm binding it up in little bunches. A couple of reasons binding before you thresh makes it easier. One reason is because it's not just the action of the threshing tool against the wheat that separates the chaff, but also the action of the wheat against the wheat under the influence of the threshing tool that breaks the chaff off. So if they're in bundles, basically iron sharpens iron. But also it makes it easier for cleanup if they're not bundled together. When you start thrashing, everything just scatters and goes everywhere. But if it's bound first, then you're able to easily dispose of the remnant, the trash, the chaff. So basically what's happening is as you're hitting it, these are breaking off and flying loose. And that's what you want. Another little quick method tip trick when you got just a little bit left on there that's being stubborn. Hold it down and rub it with your feet. And they'll break loose. And you'll see, kind of shake them out. That underneath, you're getting a good collection of the wheat seeds. Basically, do what the chickens do. Okay, so that after you do the um, chicken scratching foot thing or uh, beating it with the, the threshing rod, whatever you choose to do, um, you end up with this. And so what I do is I sweep it up and there's gonna be a little bit of straw in with it too, but you're, it's a lot less. It's mostly gonna be hid, right? And then I pick it up and I put it aside. I'm collecting it all right now in a wheelbarrow. And then I'm taking the straw that had the heads removed and putting that aside to give to the livestock. And this, which is in here, we're gonna thresh again. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. All right, at this point, we have most of the heads broken off. Uh, now we need to kind of break the chaff from the head. So I'm gonna take my small pile and put some in a pillowcase and we're going to beat the pillowcase to break the chaff loose. This is where the threshing tool is really going to shine but if you don't have this uh, you could use a big sledgehammer or really just a stick anything to just beat it. It's really going to be about breaking that stuff loose. You'll have to go through the winnowing process a few times but each time there'll be less and less chaff in it until eventually you're down to just the wheat.